They're enraged over this weekend's rave at the Coliseum. Emergency room doctors treated dozens of people for drug overdose. And as Jeff Michael tells us, they want giant music festivals to be shut down. Jeff. Christine, more than 100 people reportedly had to be loaded into ambulances at the Coliseum Friday and Saturday nights and rushed to emergency rooms. And for the already overcrowded ERs in this city, that's like handling a major disaster. Doctors say the public-run Coliseum has no business setting the stage for that kind of mayhem. It's called the Electric Daisy Carnival, or EDC. Billed as the largest rave in North America, over two days, 185,000 people, many of them high on more than the music and light show. I think this is just a catastrophe waiting to happen. Dr. Phil Fagan runs the emergency room at Good Samaritan Hospital. Friday and Saturday, his ER was overrun. We have 100,000 people taking multiple drugs, anywhere from alcohol to methamphetamine to cocaine to MDMA uh, to PCP. And something needs to be done to stop that availability. Fagan's one of many doctors angry at the city and county, which run the Coliseum, for handing the facility over to, well, to this. The fire department has to assume their responsibility. The hospitals in the area assume their responsibility. And the people that put on the, Colise put on the concert are taking the money and assuming no responsibility. The drug ODs were bad enough, doctors say, but it could have been worse. Saturday, gate crashers trampled tents with people inside. Luckily, there were no major injuries, but next year, what if there are? I can flat tell you that if they had responsibility for all those kids, civil and uh, criminal responsibility for what happens to all those people, this would stop very, very quickly. <sighs> Okay, Jeff, thanks very much for that. We're having problems, obviously, with our microphones.